What's up? My name is Marco D and SummerSlam just happened. Wow, what a pay-per-view. There were so many fantastic matches. It was like a roller coaster. A lot of high moments and at the same time, a lot of low moments as well. I'm here to tell you exactly what went down. Ring the bell! I can't believe I'm saying pre-show the Hardy Boys, The Miz, in the same sentence. Yes, of course, The Miz teamed up with the Mr. R to take on the Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan. Why is the IC title not on the line? The Miz said it's the most prestigious title in WWE. And at the same time, the Hardy Boys, I feel quite sad that they've been demoted to the pre-show. The Hardy Boys! It's the Hardy Boys! I was at WrestleMania and I tell you what, the pop they got from the crowd was phenomenal. Everyone loves, who doesn't love the Hardy Boys? Come on. And they're on the pre-show. I was surprised actually that the Miz Taraj did pick up the victory and it's quite good because they've kind of become the jobber act so far, you know, they always lose. So it's good that they do get a win, but at the same time, the Hardy Boys, the Miz on pre-show? They had two title changes, two title changes on the pre-show. So when the crowd comes in, they take their seats, they're not really focused on the matches. I'm really surprised they changed the titles twice. Both matches were pretty good. Tozawa lost the title, Neville regained it and he won it of course on Raw last week. Um, it changed after a week. Neville looks pretty badass, I've got to say. It's a shame they keep changing the titles so quickly. I've got to say, the New Day and the Usos had a fantastic match. There was so much action back and forth. Big E looked absolutely amazing. The New Day were a powerhouse in WWE last year on Raw. They had the titles for over a year, and now they lost it after a few weeks. It was a fantastic match. I just don't see why the titles had to change so quickly. Moving on to very, very poor man, Mr. Baron Corbin. What have you done wrong? Who, who have you pissed off? Was it Triple H? Was it Mr. McMahon? I've never seen a fall from grace as much as this guy. He won the money in a bank match, okay? He cashed in on Jinder Mahal. He lost it from a rolled up pin, a roll up pin. And then he got beaten up by Cena today. It makes him look so weak. And honestly, I don't know what they're doing with him. If he, you know, mucked up his cash in and then he kicked Cena's ass at SummerSlam and then injured him and beat him up. Okay, he looked pretty badass. But now the money in the bank briefcase, it just looks rubbish. And he now looks like an absolute waste of a character. And now let's move on to yet another title change. Natalia won the title. Wow, I was not expecting that. It's been so, so long since she held a belt. When's the last time she won a title? I think I was back in school when she, you know, was competing against Beth Phoenix and all those people from before. Good job, Natalia. She deserved it because she is one of the most underrated performers on that roster. It does leave a little question because Carmella has got the money in the bank briefcase and she's a heel. So is Natalia. So heel versus heel doesn't normally work. Sometimes it does. Maybe this instance, it will work. Carmella might just wait till to face perhaps like Charlotte Flair or Becky Lynch, maybe wins the title from Natalia again. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm happy a champion. Did the heart. Dynasty, very well. Big Cass versus Big Show. Can someone tell me what is the point of having someone inside a shark's cage? Meant to trap them and not meant to make them interfere with the match. Chris Jericho did exactly the same thing with Kevin Owen. Now, once again, it's happened. Why don't they just ban them from ringside? Because putting them in the shark's cage, they're going to interrupt the match more. It was not a good match. The crowd were cheering, boring. I was pretty bored until Enzo Moore got out the tanning lotion, took off his clothes, got a bit sexy, and he slid through the cage doors. That was quite funny. That was a very highlight moment of the match. Big Cass was going to win. Everyone expected that. Very disappointing match. And where does Big Cass go from here? Now, there's been a lot of falls from grace in the recent past. Rusev is just a prime example. I'm talking longer right now than the match actually lasted. He tried to look like a badass. Bell rings, RKO, done. And it's such a shame because Rusev is such a good wrestler, such a villain. You respected him when he had that feud with Cena, but it's the same story every time. He said he wants to beat people up, then he loses. He keeps losing and losing and losing. Poor old Rusev. So Finn Balor came out and of course he was the Demon King. The entrance was phenomenal. The whole crowd went absolutely crazy. The match was, yeah, it was okay. The highlight of the match for me, Bray Wyatt was about to do Sisters Abigail. He turned around, Finn Balor just got up and was like, yeah, yeah, you want some? In the recent weeks, Finn Balor, this one, he really came out on top. Bray Wyatt, on the other hand, what's going on with him? Remember, he won Elimination Chamber. He was a champion. He used to be so good. He used to cut all these promos, but promos don't do nothing. It's another Rusev story for me. He just keeps losing. The title change. Number four, we're not even halfway through the match card yet. Four title changes, the last two matches, eh, this one, psh, the crowds were engaged. Alexa Bliss has been getting a lot of stick recently for not having good matches. She looked good, Sasha Banks as well. Winning this title possibly sets up a little feud with Bailey. maybe a heel turn. I don't know, Sasha Banks versus Bailey. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? Title change, 
Number five, five title changes. Wow, that is so un WWE. What a match it happened with The Shield. Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins. Some people thought, you know, are they going to get back together again? Are they going to turn backs on each other? They were a great team and it was a fantastic match. Um, a very comical moment from Cesaro. The crowd was having the beach ball, they were throwing it in the air. He just grabbed it and ripped it up. Chill out, Cesaro. It's summer. I can see why he was a bit pissed because it was a fantastic match. Why would you be throwing the ball? when the action is happening in the ring. Good title change, and I can't wait to see what The Shield have got coming up next. So SummerSlam now is going up, it's going up. Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles went like this. Oh my gosh, it was fantastic. We had so many unpredictable elements. Shane looked like a badass. He was a ref, he wasn't taking any shit from anyone. Kevin Owens was a typical moany person. He was just mocking AJ Styles. He was moaning about every decision. You didn't know what was gonna happen. Shane took a few knocks, got up, he carried on. AJ Styles won. We were maybe expecting another title change. And it plants the seeds for a fantastic feud, possibly between Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon. Wow, imagine the possible possibilities between those two. So SummerSlam is going fantastically well. And then, eee, Jinder Mahal versus Nakamura. I am so disappointed with this match. This match had no hype whatsoever. It's like they put two strangers together in a match. Jinder Mahal, the way he's won his last matches, so predictable, the Singh brothers interfere, pin, win, the Singh brothers interfere, pin, win, the Singh brothers interfere, pin, win, same. Outcome, and it happened once again. This match compared to the next match, nah. But then you had the main event. Oh yes, four beasts in the ring at the same time. One beast really just kicked out. His name, Braun Strowman. He looked like an absolute maniac. He got a chair, he threw it, he got the table, he put Brock Lesnar through two tables. I was just like, wow, you are the man. The crowd love him. The crowd are cheering for him. And he's a heel. He doesn't say he loves the crowd. He attacks people. He's such a badass. This match was fantastic. Maybe Samoan Joe didn't have his moments. He looked a bit weak. He had a bit of a push. Now he went back down a bit. Brock Lesnar got stretched out. He came back in. He was like, you know what? I'm not done yet. He, uh, a little bit disappointed that he retained the title. I would have liked to see Braun Strowman win. And he deserved to come away with the title because of what he simply did in the match. He just tore the whole place down. I've never seen such an impressive performance. It possibly sets up a feud between him and Brock Lesnar now, one on one, and the things they can do in the ring together. Wow, I cannot wait. So overall, a very enjoyable pay-per-view. It was like a roller coaster, some really high moments, and at the same time, some really low moments as well. Some silly decisions, but some incredible moments. KO versus AJ Styles was my match of the night. Fantastic match, and of course, Braun Strowman Looked like an absolute beast. He didn't win the title, but he came out looking like an absolute warrior. What do you think? What was your match of the night? Let us know your thoughts down below. We would love to hear from you.